So you mentioned dynamic security. What does that mean? Right, dynamic security. In in prison, every prison, the prisons you've been in, prisons worldwide, you've got procedural security, which is procedures, rules, regs that you stick to. You've got your physical security, which is obvious, gates, bars, dogs, razor wire, and then you've got dynamic security. Dynamic security is a big thing. I try and mention it all the time. It is the relationships between staff and prisoners. So if you go back 45 years, prisoners were locked up 23 hours a day to get an hour's exercise, and there was no staff-prisoner relationships. A lot of animosity, but there was a lot of staff to deal with that animosity. So I started at Forest Bank. So when I first started, I was new, I was green. As you get to know people, they get to know you. You will know which guards, you know, I, I've, I've read your book. I've read your book, Sean, which was really good. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, Mrs. is now reading it and she don't read books. And th these guards, you know, you know, if two guards were on shift, you could get away with a bit more. You'd also know another guard was a bit dodgy and he might well give you a good twatting with a stick if you, if you got in his way or whatever. So I can try and blag prisoners as an officer but they'll see me every day they'll see me interact 100 times a day with different prisoners and they see what you like yeah you know they, they know the officers are fair they know the officers who's going to do jack shit for them so they keep away from them and go to you so you start building relationships so when i went to strange ways there, there was a lot of prisoners in there who'd been in forest bank and i knew them so it's them relationships and it's them relationships that make or did make prison a safe place because, you know, working on K-Wing, 200 prisoners, you know them all. You get somebody on the wing who's a bit of a dickhead who took a dislike to me. Somebody be having a word in his shell like, you know, he's all right, Mr. S, don't be like that or whatever. And it's how you interact through the day. L loads of interactions, a lot of them built up all years. Lots of repeat offenders. So, you know, they've been, you're all right, how are you doing, lad? How are you doing? That sort of thing. And that's what made it safe. You know, you, you get somebody come up to you on K-Wing, Mr. S, you might have a look in uh, 218. So there's two lads about to get to it. It's not because he's a grass, but he knows if they start fighting, we press an alarm bell, they're banged up for at night. That sort of thing, yeah? That's yeah. how it works. What happened in 215 at Strange Ways? And grass equals snitch for the Americans. Yeah. I, I interviewed a lad snitch, from Manchester. Snitch. And um, all the Americans... It's like you're talking about marijuana. What's going on? Grass? We, they just didn't understand. Yeah, yeah. Snitch, grass. Yeah, same thing. But it's not. You know, it's it's self preservation for them. They want to go on exercise. They don't want banging up. So it's a nice day. Yeah. And they also, like I said, they get to know what you like. So I was known as a fair officer. I'd do my my fair bit. You know, if if somebody, for instance, um, let's say the mother was in hospital, ill. And they'd used all the phone credit up. I'm, I might well make them a phone call. Lots of officers wouldn't do that. Lots of officers would. You know, just let them know. He stuck behind his door. His mother's got cancer in hospital. Shit. So it'd be a two-minute call. I've had a word, you know, blah, blah, blah. You'd, you'd, you'd help them out what you could. You know, you're not, you're not bringing phones in and stuff like that. Yeah. That sort of thing. But you build a relationship. And they do get to know what you like. And on K-Wing, it, it was a bit of my downfall because I ended up... Three landings on K-Wing, yeah? So you got about 70 prisoners on each. I'd end up doing work for the threes and fours when I was on the twos. Because somebody come in, somebody I knew had shout down, Mr. S, will you sort this out for this lad? And, you know, it's just, that's what prison officers are there for. Yeah. You have to realise, you know, prisoners can't do anything for themselves. They can't check the money. Um, they didn't used to be able to book visits or sort any problems out. They rely on you sorting them. And, and those relationships made it safe. You'd have a laugh and a joke. I used to say me, best job I ever had, go to work, have a laugh and a joke, nobody gets injured, very cliched, go home, easy life sort of thing. 